Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today we're going to work on variables, expressions, and equations. But before we get started, we've got to get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, what are you doing over there? <laughs> All right, Charlie, we're going to talk about variables, expressions, and equations. Well, what is a variable? A variable is some unknown quantity. Generally, we choose letters from the alphabets to represent variables. And most commonly, we choose x. Okay, well, what is an expression? Well, when you're given an expression, you're generally asked to find the value of the expression or evaluate the expression. So, let's put a problem up right here. Evaluate the expressions given x equals 4. So, here's our first expression, x plus 5. Notice, what you're really being asked here is to find the value of the expression x plus 5 given that x equals 4. Okay? Well, what is an equation? Well, if it said x plus 5 equals 10, then you would have been asked to solve the equation for x. Right? That's the difference between an expression and an equation. Equations we solve, expressions we evaluate. We'll be solving equations later in the semester, but for now, we just want to understand what's the difference between an expression and an equation. So let's start with these expressions. So evaluate the expressions for x equals 4, right? And here's our first expression, x plus 5. Notice we're going to substitute the x with a 4. And what's 4 plus 5, Charlie? 9. 9. So we just answered the question. The value of the expression x plus 5 equals 9 when x equals 4, right? OK, let's do another one here. 2x subtract 9. Remember, 2x means 2 times x. So we're going to substitute the x with a 4. And don't forget, it's 2 times 4. And then we're going to subtract 9. Order of operation says we must do the multiplication first. So 2 times 4 is 8. And bring down our subtract 9. Charlie, what's 8 subtract 9? Negative 1. Very nice there, Charlie. OK, now let's do another one. Don't get scared. 3x squared subtract 17. Notice the variable x is being squared. So we first start off by replacing the x with a 4. And don't forget, it's squared. It's being multiplied by 3, because it's 3x squared. And don't forget to subtract 17. Order of operation says we must do the exponent first. So 4 squared, which means 4 times 4 is 16. And so we have 3 times 16 subtract 17. Very nice. There. Now, how do we do 3 times 16 without a calculator? Well, you can use the vertical format. Let's try some Kung Fu here, though. Now watch. Pay attention, Charlie. What? 3 times 16 is the same as 16 times 3 by the commutative property for multiplication. Now, however you look at it, 16 times 3, or 3 times 16, means 16 plus 16 plus 16, right? And if we think of the expanded form of 16, this is from pre-algebra, 16 is 10 plus 6, right? And so, Charlie, let's add the tens up. How many tens do we have? Three tens. Three, that's right. So that gives us 30. And if we add the sixes up, we get what? 18. 18. And so your answer should be 48. So we're doing this without a calculator, right? So all you calculator kids better practice your multiplication. Anyway, without your calculators, by the way. All right, Charlie. Now, so 3 times 16 is 48. Don't forget to subtract 17. And what's 48 subtract 17, Charlie? 31. Very nice there, Charlie. OK. Whew. Now, let's do some more expressions. But now we're going to have two variables. Don't get squared. Scared. What? Evaluate the expressions given x equals 3 and y equals negative 1, Charlie. So here's our first expression. It's just x plus y, the sum of x and y. Now, just replace the x with a 3 and the y with a negative 1. And notice, Charlie, we have adding a negative 1. Okay. What happens when you add a negative number? Subtract the opposite. That's right. You subtract its opposite. So it's 3, subtract 1, which is 2. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's do another one. 2x, subtract y. Remember, 2x means 2 times x. Let's replace the x with 3 and the y with a negative 1. Do the multiplication first. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract a negative 1. Now, Charlie, what happens when you subtract a negative number? Add the opposite. That's right. So it becomes plus 1 being added, okay, to the 6, right? All right. Now, 6 plus 1 is what, Charlie? 7. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. That's why it's important to, that you learn those pre-algebra skills, right? 
adding a negative number and subtracting a negative number. Got to get that straightened out. All right, Charlie, here we have 3x subtract y squared divided by 2xy. Remember, we have a quotient here. It's a fraction. Okay, here in the numerator, we got to replace the x and the y, right? Correspondingly with x equal 3, y equal negative 1, and the bottom, same thing. So notice 3x means 3 times 3, and then we have negative 1 squared, and on the bottom it's 2 times 3 times negative 1. All right, Charlie, in the numerator, we have to do the exponent first, following the order of operations. Negative 1 squared means negative 1 times negative 1. Negative times negative is positive, so that's a positive 1. And then we have, bring out our work. On the bottom, 2 times 3 times a negative 1 is a negative 6, right? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times a negative 1 is negative 6. Now, in the numerator, we must do the multiplication first. So we have 9 subtract 1 divided by negative 6. What's 9 subtract 1, Charlie? Hey. Okay. Now remember, a positive divided by negative is negative, so we'll put our negative out in front. And 8 and 6 have a common factor of 2, so we'll divide top and bottom by 2, and that gives us a 4 thirds there. So our answer is negative 4 thirds. That was a tough one, right? Whew. Okay. Let's move on to equations. Now, remember, you're asked to solve equations, and once you solve the equation, you check your answer by taking your result and substituting back into the original equation to make sure you were correct. Now, so here's our first question here. Is x equal 5 a solution to the following equations? Well, we're not trying to solve these equations. We just want to verify that our solution is correct. And how do we do this? We substitute the x with that 5. And so notice, 5 plus 2 is 6. And notice we get 7 equals 6. Charlie, does 7 equal 6? No. No, it doesn't. So in this case, we're going to answer no because x equal 5 is not a solution to this equation. The actual solution is x equal 4. Now, we'll learn to solve equations later in the semester. Don't forget. Okay, let's do another problem here. 2x plus 2 equals x squared subtract 13. That's an equation. We're not trying to solve these. We're just trying to see if the solution x equal 5 makes our equation true, right? Well, we got to substitute x with 5. There we go. Now, the left-hand side, we have to do the multiplication first. 2 times 5 is 10. Bring down your work. On the right-hand side, you must do the exponent first. 5 squared means 5 times 5, which is 25. Bring down our work. 10 plus 2 is what, Charlie? 12. And what's 25 subtract 13? 12. That's right. So, to answer this question, is x equal 5 a solution to this equation? Yes. Yes, because both sides were equal. So. There you go. Now, hopefully, now we understand the difference between expressions and equations. Let's take a break and we'll see you all again soon.